All right, kids. It's time to talk turkey. This is Peyton, a teenager who is anything but ordinary. While most teenagers are glued to their mobile devices, Peyton is learning the arts of car restoration from her father, Chad, an Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. From an early age, Peyton's been getting schooled on the value of hard work, dedication, and the power of self-reliance, as well as why he shouldn't take life too seriously. You didn't see that. And the work, well, it speaks for itself. And there's only one philosophy in this beat shop. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are, Anybody can pick up a wrench and turn dreams into reality. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. No, not actual turkey. But it's time to start talking about uh, Bonnie and Clyde and uh, Project Creepy. So I'm making kind of a hit list for Project Creepy for the winter. Um, yep, I know it's August, almost September, but uh, look, winter winter can come any time here. Um, we start getting into September, October, making snow, and winter's here. So what we're what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of give you the flying here anyway I'm gonna give you the the main ones we're gonna be looking at for creepy and then some hit list things for uh, Bonnie and Clyde so let's uh, get that turned around here we got a new sticker for the thing new guys garage yeah they're here what are you watch the video all right, so some of the things we gotta do for creepy, you gotta get that body off and put it on the cart. Now, what that's gonna do, it's gonna let us um, do the rust repair because there's there's quite a bit. Now we are going to do our best um, to uh, to build the patch panels for for that as best we can, and if. If we have to, well, then we'll order some. Uh, but that's that's kind of the, we don't want to do that. Front axle and suspension, we got to get that in here and get it, get it kind of lined up because, you know, we've got um, split wishbones and stuff and we got to get that in there, um, up there. Now, we're going to talk, are we doing a four link? Are we doing a four bar? Are we doing ladder bars? What are we doing? We don't know yet. So that's our question marks. Uh, we do need to sand that frame down, and we need to get it in primer because, uh, let's face it, it's going to continue to flash rust, and we don't necessarily need that. And then we're going to want to make it a roller. You know, we want to get that, once we get the front suspension, rear suspension on, we want to be able to move that frame around and, um, and that kind of deal. So, also, we need to figure out a layout in here for um, two, if not three cars. It's a real thing. Check it out, 1776 garage. Any new ones up here? No. Nope. It's that guy in this one. Let's move it over here. Oh, hey, check it. Oh, welding table looks sharp. Stone soup. Yeah. All right, so some of the main things for Bonnie and Clyde um, as the season wraps up, we have a couple more cars in caffeine that we're gonna be doing. Um, hopefully we'll be um, uh, bringing you along on those. There's only two left, there's one for September and that's in a couple weeks, and then there's one in October and that's the end of it. So um, I'd like to have uh, Bonnie uh, at least, because we, you know, we're still, Clyde's getting his legs back and so that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, we do need a grease job, we need to grease everything on both of the cars. They're getting groany and squeaky. Checking the brakes. Look, front brakes are fine. We've been we've been working those back brakes out with the burnout, so those are the main things there. We do need to wash them. Uh, and I'm not so worried about Clyde being washed because, you know, with Clyde. New plugs for Bonnie. This is not a necessary thing, but I want to get these done before the winter comes. Gap in the plugs for Clyde. Remember, we just stuck them in there. New plug wires, seats, fix that floor, that dash. 
Oil leaks and transmission leaks. Both cars have both of those. You know, I mean, it's just old cars. It's what happens. So that does need to be um, taken care of. Oh, and that's uh, diecast streams. Functional histories, formerly known as. Anyway, right there, stone soup. If you haven't been checking those out, that's pretty, they're pretty cool. Um, I do need to get uh, a lot of room for stickers here. So it's time to get some more stickers around kids. I am out. I have to get some. And actually, you know what? I'm going to order some here. Uh, I'm going to make some up tonight, uh, tomorrow, next Thursday, whatever, and get them here. Because it's time. Oh, look at that. Did you guys do that? Man, come on. Bonnie. You know what? That's not a necessity. So we'll just kind of we'll put a little asterisk that that's not maybe a thing. But um, these other ones, though. Uh, so let's go over to uh, Creepy. And I want to start showing you, I'm going to show you some of the, the rust issues that, that are really uh, noticeable. We can't really get too far around on the passenger side because uh, it's up close to the wall. Uh, once we get the body off, though, I'll be able to show you more up close and personal. Let's go check it out, shall we? I found something cool in my parts bin. Two something cools. These <laughs> go up. Like that, right? Up in the corner, with the outside attaches here. And then, so I'll show you the condition that mine are in and it's not great. So, uh, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. We're going in. There's some substantial rust issues right there. All along that side right there. There's some small pinholes on this side. And this is pretty much gone too. So, man, right there, it's pretty gone. I mean, I can stick my hand up in the car. Do not stack. That's, yep, mm -hmm. So as you can see, creepy is gonna be some work, right? Now, those pieces that I just showed you and the cowl that I have that will replace that um, will really help me out too. Downside is that every nut and bolt is uh, rusted. So there may be some cutting, there may be some who knows what, right? On that to get this off. Because I want to take this off in one piece and I want to put the other cowl back on and I want to get those pieces replaced. Not I want to get, I want to replace them. And then of course, you know, build the floor. And that's real. But uh, all in all, I mean, for being a 1929, Creepy's in really good shape. Now, let's get a header panel. Now, this I'm probably gonna end up ordering because I don't know how to make one. And uh, it'd be a lot cooler if I did. Now this wood is all gonna come out, all up here. And I'm, thinking I'm going to use some square tubing some, and then fit it in, you know, metal square tubing. So there's going to be a lot of work to do here. And uh, that's why the hit list on creepy is pretty short because uh, I'm guessing that between the rust repair and doing the floor, Probably won't be much time for much else, uh, a whole lot else other than the front and rear suspensions and uh, that kind of deal. Still got to figure out an engine. Um, we know what kind of transmission is going to be turbo 350. We know that already because that's what it's set up for. So we've got a lot of work to do and uh, should be quite a bit of fun. What's happening, kids? I just spent some awesome time with Mike, and I didn't film it because, you know, we were just talking some uh, good old times about when he was a youngster and learning to weld and and that kind of stuff. So, and we were talking about his uh, his projects and what he wants to do, and um, if you remember his black 35 Chevy coupe, he's talking about getting a drive in or changing out his transmission in his blue car, and 
I was like, you know what, man? Most bang for your buck, get that black wing driving. Uh, I volunteered to come and help hold things and, and uh, take direction. And he's <laughs> he's still working, he's by, working by himself. He's like, oh, yeah, man. Maybe he just thinks I'm terrible. Which, hey, if you've watched, you know, it's not far off. But I'm at Harbor Freight. And uh, it's the last day of their extended parking lot sale. I just thought, I was, since I was out and about, I'd come take a look. Don't know that I need anything, but you never know. You never know what you're going to find unless you go look. So, kids, um, if it's not too busy and if it's not too music-y in there, I'll do some filming and stuff. Other than that, we'll see you after a bit. So many cool things. By the way, I bought one of these pumps. It's fantastic. You guys need anything? Give me a call real quick. I always think it's weird when somebody asks me if I need help. Do I look like I need help? Maybe he's talking about professional help. I don't know. I still don't own the music though. All right, it's 97,000 degrees. It's like stupid humid and it's gonna be 90 today. So this will be my last trip out for a little bit. Um, picked up a couple things, nothing spectacular. Uh, picked up some L brackets so I can hang the Model T frame in the shed and hopefully they'll support that Model A frame too because we need to get that out of there. And uh, that's it, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna head home. We'll see you after a while. All right, kids. Time has come. Stick around for what's next. Might surprise you. She showed up to work for the first time. Nobody watches Frozen. I know. <laughs> okay, so what we gotta do? By we, I mean Peyton's gonna push this outside. Yes, we hot rod so hard that I make patient Peyton. This person. Mm hmm. You know what I meant. My name's not patient because I don't have any patience. Let's get this piece of junk out of here. Where do you want me to push? Uh, this general area okay. here. Now you might say to yourself, why are you pushing it? Because I don't know if it has enough gas to get it out of here. Right here. Okay, see you next time. We got it in here. I should say I got it in here. Peyton went and took a nap. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move it. If I don't, nobody wants to win me. Alright, we got some stuff in the way. And then... You know what I'm doing. Alright, we got it in here. We got it up there. You can see it. Now, um, chain fall. Greasy! <laughs> I don't think that's... It's a good one. You got... Yeah, finger color thoughts. All right, let's see if it picks this turn up. You want me to hold anything? I want you to watch out. All right, so we've got. We only got a few inches to pick it up. Cool, look at that. It picked it up. We should get the cart. So we got the body off of the frame. The frame's out there. And I'm a little superstitious of the frame, but it's working. Or not frame, but She's superstitious, gantry. meaning that on Friday the 13th, the gantry will bring bad luck. Most likely, yes. And our next step is to put the body on here. So. And it was super easy. It just went like took two minutes in and out, done and done. No. No. Build model A's, they said. We finally said, nah. Peyton's the superstitious of my thing here. I was. Broken. Broken. Sorry. Oh. 
All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. Things bent. Things scraped. A lot of things bent. Yeah. We're not gonna talk about that though. Hold no. on. Yeah, <laughs> who did what? Yep. Actually, I could have done it without her. Hey, hey you, yeah you. Yeah. Did you know that this video is sponsored by the Brawling Brothers? Did you? Oh, you didn't? Go check them out after this video. You ever get the feeling you do everything by yourself? Hi. You know, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Okay, watch out back there. If anybody's back there, don't care if you are. Don't care if you do. That was a struggle bus. It was here. Super ultra deluxe first class. <laughs> That's why you didn't see any of this. Yeah. Now. More. All right, we got the frame situated over there. Oh, right, yep, right there. This thing is uh, go next to it. Let's see if it works. Learn to shut the door, people. You let the heat out. You know. You want me to do that? Or no? No. Shh. Tell. Shh. Tell that bomb to me. All right. Is that where it's going to live? No, it's not. I don't know. Hold on a minute. All right, check it out. Don't look at that. We haven't. No. No boxes. Okay. Bamper mess back there. I wonder whose handprints these are. I don't know. I added to them. Well, I know who's going to scrub the car off. Well, I don't have to do that. All right. We're in a decent spot. Clyde will still fit. Now, we still have to figure out whether or not Bonnie's coming in here too, because this and the frame are gonna live right here by this door. The frame's probably gonna be like this, the body's gonna be like that, and then I'll have room for a, a couple turds over there. Well, one turd and one good car. Still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do this for granted. That's another show. Oh, you're still here? Hey. So when it's 87 degrees, it's not actually. It's, it feels uh, like it. It's humid. When it's 84 in your shop with the doors open and fans on, what do you do? You reach for generic powdered iced tea. Mmm. Generic powdered iced tea. Does the thing. Can we call it generic powdered iced tea? <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this. I think we're gonna take it out. I don't think we need it. We don't need it right now. No. So maybe it'll do it. I hope not. I'll tell you what, it did great. Yes. Um Yeah. It didn't break. It didn't even groan, man. Uh, we're gonna have to come up with something a little bit better for picking it up again because it, you know. By that I mean that it just wasn't centered and so it was kind of tippy. Oh. So we're going to have to figure that out. I did bend up my frame a little bit, so it's a good thing I decided not to channel it. Smart. Cross member got a little bent, but uh, that's fine. By fine, I mean it's fine. It'll be fine. We can unbend it. Let's possibly. make a new one. <laughs> unbend it. Stick around. Let's bring this piece of junk in here. It works. Uh huh. You guys say it works. Well, no. We did it. That's the, that's the thing's ever run in, in forever. I think we've got enough for the day. What we did. 
We did everything wrong, but it worked out. That's true. I mean, don't we do that all the time? No. Nope. Sometimes it doesn't work out though. But today... It did. Yep. Um, so the body is off. It's on the cart. We can start rust repair. And I put the passenger side in because that's the way it ended up. <laughs> it's actually the worst side, so that's perfect because then we can start on this side. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have to mess with the door. I don't think. Um, we might. There's a little bit of rust in the bottom. But we're going to be trying to make our own patch panels and that's why we got the fat area over there. And that's why the body and the frame are going to go in the middle here and then the the good car and Clyde are going to go over there, hopefully, maybe. Um, the lounge is probably going to leave for the winter again, and uh, the fridge, same thing, because there's really no need for it. There's no, I mean, yeah, there's not too much of a need for it yet. So, or when we're when when there's winter time, Cause that because we have these chairs. Yep, and typically we're not out here as long, and I don't tend to take a nap. When someone's not being very good, nice in the house. Anyway, what'd you learn today, Peyton? I learned teamwork makes a dream work. I learned some new swear words, but I said them in my head. Yeah, he never, he didn't really say swear words out loud. Mm -mm. Not this time. Yeah, actually, he did once. Mm. That was it. I said it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, but it was, and that was just because the car was. It was my fault for not having the car um, centered and, and uh, yeah. He was, he was kind of doing the definition of insanity where he was like up and down, up and down, up and down. And I was like, what is he doing? You got it there, though. And then I got what you said. Yeah. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on mentioning have a great day. Mm hmm Yeah, that. Okay, I'm going to go eat now. Okay, bye.